Marico. Matapos ang outbreak ng dengue at pagbabalik ng measles at polio sa Pilipinas nitong nakaraang taon, another epidemic threatens to affect the country. What was once a mysterious disease has been identified as the 2019 novel coronavirus or 2019 NCOV, also known as Wuhan virus. Dahil sa pneumonia-like symptoms tulad ng rashes, fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, na ihahalin tulad ng Wuhan virus sa SARS o Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome na nagka-outbreak noong 2002 to 2003. The infection originated in a seafood and meat market in the city of Wuhan, China. This Tuesday, January 21, Chinese authorities confirmed the fourth death from the Wuhan virus at nakaabot na ito sa ibang lugar. Of 222 confirmed cases, there are 198 in Wuhan, 5 in Beijing, 14 in Guangdong Province, and 1 in Shanghai. May naitala na ring dalawang kaso sa Thailand, isa sa Japan, at sa South Korea. Pinangangambahan ngayon na nakarating na umano ito sa Pilipinas after a few individuals presented symptoms of a coronavirus. This Monday, three Chinese tourists were tested after showing flu-like symptoms upon landing in Kalibo. Pero na-discharge naman ang mga ito at tumuloy na ng Boracay. Kasalukuyan ring iniimbestigahan ng Department of Health ang kaso ng pneumonia ng isang 5-year-old boy who traveled via direct flight from Wuhan to Cebu before the Sinulog Festival. Samples from the patient were first tested at the Research Institute for Tropical Medicine or RITM and yielded negative results for the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome-related coronavirus or more often uh, referred to as mers cov and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome-related coronavirus. Naging positibo naman daw ito sa non-specific pan-coronavirus assay, kaya't ipinadala ang sample sa Australia to determine whether or not it is the Wuhan virus. We are working together with the authorities in China and with other member states, both in the Western Pacific region and beyond, to keep them informed of the risk posed by this new infection. Handa naman daw ang DOH at Bureau of Quarantine. Lalo na this weekend na ang Chinese New Year and 1.4 billion people in China will be traveling for the festivities. All the usual precautionary measures are uh, in place except that uh, there will be a heightened alert. Obviously, uh, they shouldn't be going to Wuhan. We have uh, guidelines on how to screen for patients. There are checklists on what to look for, guidelines on how to care for the patients, meaning clinical management, what diagnostic tests to order, and the infection prevention and control measures to implement. Sa ngayon, walang vaccine para sa Wuhan virus at hindi rin madalian ang pagdiagnose at pagsukpo nito. Patuloy na makikipag-ugnayan ang DOH sa World Health Organization at China Center for Disease Control. I'm Shaila Garde and I stand for truth.